Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0 launch. Uh, we are getting stuff automated, just barely. And our next big goal is to get a chainsaw so we can collect all the biomass, which is going to be great, and maybe have to poke some enemies along the way, but uh, the chainsaw requires quite a few resources. I think we needed, what was it, 500? Yeah, 500 screws and 100 cable. I already have the concrete because we automated that and I happen to have the exact amount of cable we need, which means I now have no cable for building. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get that done. 500 screws isn't that bad. It'll just be a few seconds of us sitting here having a nice little chat. And with the chainsaw, we'll be able to go collect lots of wood and wood makes lots of biomass. And then the biomass makes biofuel and the solid biofuel is actually a more effective resource than biomass already is. So that way we just have to collect stuff way less frequently, which is nice. And I do, I do like shortening our biomass trips. Also, is this thing gonna overheat? I feel like it used to overheat the little button if you held it for too long. I don't know if it still does that or not. I mean, we are handcrafting 500 screws here, so... <laughs> if it's gonna overheat, it would do it now. <laughs> nice, Waskly. 400 wood in 30 seconds with your chainsaw. I've also noticed viewership is lower today than it was yesterday, and I can only assume it's because most of the people <laughs> are now playing the game themselves. I guess I'm streaming a little earlier too, but I, I'm pretty confident that's the reason. All right, almost there, 450 screws. I'm also excited to go hard drive hunting, get those alternate recipes. All right, there it is, 500, and I'll make a few more to make some more reinforced plates uh, because I need more constructors for all sorts of random things. All right, there we go. Kaboom, launch. Ta-da! Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket Need dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Screws for that Inspirational too. note. Will you be the fixed employee of the month? Ooh. You could be if you construct, automate, explore, and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. Like trees? This isn't just fun. It's contractually mandated fun, fun, fun. <laughs> contractually mandated fun. The best kind of fun. All right, and I needed five rips as well. Five rips for the ripper. Contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. One, two, three, and I think I want a fourth here. So that's two more constructors. And now I can switch over. I do need some biofuel. Otherwise the chainsaw won't run. And then we should be able to go get a bunch of wood. And then we'll set up a constructor to make the biofuel from biomass. And you know, I said I might not need the belting into biomass burners, but now that I'm thinking about it, that just sounds really nice and convenient to start already doing. Um, like I can have my little power plant over here. I kind of want it to be on foundations though, so maybe I'll wait until I have foundations here in a minute. But here we are. Vroom, vroom. Heck yeah, 17 wood. And I forget how much power you get from each wood, but it's a, it's a lot. It really, like, if you were to look at mega jewels, it's kind of absurd how much one unit of wood ends up getting you. Uh, yes, Charleston, the craft button does heat up. 
As far as I can tell, it never overheats, though. I think it used to, and they removed that. I can't remember. There might be some... I could see there being some sort of achievement for, like, crafting for 10 minutes straight or something. I don't know. But... Just, you know, a minute ago, I did 500 screws, and that didn't seem to cause a problem. I'm going to get rid of this barrel nut bush. I don't remember if they regrow or not, but there's plenty. Plenty more in the world other than that one. Okay, so that is enough to make 560 biomass here. That is enough for a lot of biofuel. So what I'll do is, I guess, rush foundations next, and then we can work on a power plant. So I need more rods and more concrete. That's why I seem to have broken something. Why are these not running? Did I disconnect the... Oh, the miner... I disconnected the miner from power. That's unfortunate. And I have no iron rod or concrete left. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. okay we got 150 of the concrete. Still not quite enough. And... Let's see. Get some rods? Ooh. Yeah, I didn't notice that I when I redid the power poles, I disconnected the iron miner. So that was kind of a big whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, well that'll get it running again. But it'll take a minute to do anything. Um, I guess I can grab these portable miners and the iron that they hold. And I can at least put that put that in there. Should get me kick started. And run home a little faster. These Mark 1 belts are quite slow though. They really chug along with no rush. Copper. I got rid of all my copper ore. Nice. Okay, the last thing I need is more concrete. So why don't we do a little bit more handcrafting? Or some more concrete. do foundations I think like do I, do I want to do separate buildings kind of separated by regular land you know or do I want to build everything on one giant sea of foundations where everything's aligned together I don't think I need everything to be aligned together um, it is annoying when you want to expand spaces and they run into each other and they're not at the right angles um, but I feel like there are solutions for that now that didn't used to exist, so we should be okay. Oh, I need more rods. We're like, fresh out of those things. I need 14 more. Okay, so there we go. Kaboom! Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of mm -hmm. any structure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to Planetfall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Distractions. So unimportant. 
All right, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna four meter foundation here. And we'll, we'll zoop our way that way and ah, this way. our first little flat area and then we can build some biomass burners um, now the thing I don't know I guess is one constructor can handle how many biomass burners probably a lot Probably like a very 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 large amount. Okay, and now we can nudge it. Oh, I love this nudging thing Because I because I couldn't tell from back there, but we can lock it and then we can nudge it around here And make sure that it's entirely on Okay, enter doesn't do it. But clicking probably does there we Go and now I can just align them next to each other um, why can't I see? Okay, there we go. I need more rods. But yeah, on number two here, I think I want my foundations. I'll probably mostly do four or two. I don't love the look of one meter. They feel too thin. Uh, they feel too flimsy. So they work fine if they're if they don't look like they need to structurally support anything but otherwise i like the two or the four meters um oh you're right i didn't watch the delivery take off oh no i'm a heathen okay anyway uh where are my belts so where's the new 90 degree mode Oh, that's beautiful. Um, wow, that's so nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I need more resources. I'm kind of out of everything. All right, there's some plates. There's some rods. I guess I'm not really out of wire or biomass. We have enough of those two things. And then concrete, let's go grab whatever we've got there. I should probably get more concrete going. That's just not gonna be enough for my needs. And then this one is going to be the one that takes biomass and makes biofuel out of it. And then we'll just put some power poles there. there. Pick that up. Oh. Is that clipping? I don't mind a little bit of clipping, especially with the power wires, but it is a little annoying sometimes if it looks bad. Okay, so you get biomass, and then you'll feed that across. And I will put them on both sides. How spaced out is it? I guess the spacing's not going to be perfectly even, is it? Is that about right? Uh, no, it needs to be one more. That's about right. I don't know if it's exactly equal. Um. Oh, but it is exactly, if I, okay, hold on. No, that is exactly right, because this, this conveyor is exactly in the middle of that foundation. Somehow I got lucky. I didn't mean to do that. 
And these, the little overhangy thing is right over the edge of the foundation and the overhangy thing is right over the edge. So those are actually perfect. Perfection. And then we can splitter. Um, we'll control to lock it. Oh, I'm missing cables. Of course I am. I haven't automated crafting of cables yet. Do some of that. We'll do copper next, I think. Yeah, see, you can click anywhere on this thing to get the belt attachment. It's so nice. Ta-da! Alright, and then I need the power poles. I think I'll build it aligned so that it's right behind that little corner, maybe. The best way to do it. Rather than aligned with the foundations. Although, it might be the case that these are exactly one foundation big. So I think that might actually be the same alignment. And then your power pole right there. Okay. There we go. So power is now automated. We will need... So 60 a minute will feed 15 generators. The so one constructor feeds 15 uh, biomass generators. And then what I will need is another constructor, a pair of constructors, I guess. Fed by two storage containers. go get a couple more rips and that'll be to turn the leaves and the wood into the biomass and what did i need more of? oh the reinforced plates yes 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 of course i'm out of everything as one always is in the early game i guess i, I haven't been doing very batch crafty things so i keep running out of things that's my fault this one I can remove now. Output will be limited by input until mark two belts. Um, wait, what do you mean? Oh, like the leaf and wood input? Yeah, I don't think the rate on those is gonna be a problem for a while. Uh, let's see, so you go next to that. Um, I need a merger. I really don't like these hotkeys, but I don't know what I want yet. Let's do a merger next to splitter, I guess. I don't know. Will it let me do that? Seems to work. Wait, no, I don't want the merger there. Hold on. I want the merger in front of this one. Or actually, lining it up in front of that one. And then these two will go in. Ah. Uh, yes, that is problematic, is it not? <laughs> uh, never mind. You need to move over a little bit. there. Now the midpoint between the two would be right on, yeah, like that. 
Maybe I can do that. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's more what we were looking for. And then... Power connections are on the back of these things, so that should work. Power line. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we need the storage container behind each one. Um, I want you to line up yeah, like that. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so what this does for me is now I can throw leaves in one. Leaves left. That's how we'll remember it. Leaves left, wood right. Okay. Boom. And then those should do their jobs to make biomass, and then biomass gets fed into here. Sweet. Now, in this game, can you fill the outputs like you can in... Yeah, you can. That's nice. Like in Factorio. Yeah, and as far as the output per minute, I that's not... The fact that this can make 300 biomass per minute is not really a big deal. I'm not going to need that sort of rate for a very long time, so I'm not concerned about that. Sweet. And then these are filling the manifolds. It looks like we're, we're getting there. It'll take a minute. But we should have a capacity for 120 megawatts. Why does it say 130? Four of these is exactly 120. Oh, I, I never mind. I didn't hook that one up yet. That's why it's weird. There we go. So now it's 160 because the other two are still running. But I can just get these disconnected. Basically, that's less efficient to use biomass anyway. I just need to get rid of all the regular biomass. I guess I can just handcraft away the rest. Just so it's not in my inventory anymore. And yeah, so now all we have to do for power is once in a while we go chainsawing, throw the leaves in one container, throw the wood in the other, and we're done. That's super nice. This is kind of slow. I don't want to do this forever. I guess we only, it's eight at a time, so that's not too bad. Also, this doesn't get... Whoever said this gets faster when it gets hotter, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. We could time it. If it is faster, it's a very small difference. But I'm pretty sure it's the same. Alright, I'm going to trash those final two, and then... Maybe I will just keep that, uh, what we have here for my inventory. Can I equip it? No. <laughs> I don't know why I would think you could, but I just wanted to find out. You know, a fuel slot. Okay, so let's make a little bit of a better system here for copper stuff. Um... I'm completely out of copper stuff. I guess I'll feed it my last 29 copper ingots. And then there's rods, plates, and concrete. Yeah, Charleston, I agree. The, the relevant items and in inventory that it pulls up when you have certain menus is super handy. Like here, it's pulling up basically ingredients and outputs, and you can kind of you know, I can be like, oh, I'm trying to get rid of all the limestone in my inventory, so I can do it that way. Um, yeah, I really like that as well. 
Okay, let's get our copper miner finally going. Pick these guys up. And then production. Yeah. Production, miner mark one. Get the power. Where does the power hookup on this thing exist? Is it the back? I never know. I guess I can just click on it to find out. Oh, it's way up at the top there. Okay. So that over there maybe. And then this comes to the edge. Go to normal mode here. Okay, so looking at my base, I don't have a ton of space. I'm probably going to go verticality focused. I'll probably build up quite a bit. But at least for now, we'll just bring the copper down to here, maybe. Over. And then chainsaw, get the tree. Okay. And I'll do my copper smelting right here. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I would like to build some two meter foundations. Like so. Oh my gosh, I love how easy this is now. This used to be such a pain in the butt to do. All right, grab a smelter. enough room for mergers or splitters behind them, I guess. Is that on? Yeah, that is on the foundation. Still. Okay. There's my copper smelters. Get copper splitters. Um... out we're kind of clipping a bit i don't mind clipping for things like this because it feels like oh wait i can't get on top of that really i feel like you could jump on top of splitters that were sitting on a foundation before Is that not a thing even with slide jumping you can't get on top oh that definitely something definitely changed there you didn't need Blade Runners to do that. Um, it was a little finicky, but I know you could do that without Blade Runners back when I played last. You didn't need any upgrades for that. Um, wait a second. Why is this one not working? There we go. Okay, and then this guy comes here. Make it 90 degree mode if we want. I don't, I don't actually like that. Um, I wanna go out. What are the default modes? Build and straight, okay. Okay, let's do it that way. That feels a little more believable. Yeah, it was definitely possible without Blade Runners before. So again, that just supports my theory that they nerfed jumping or or some, something's different in the world of uh, jumping and moving. Where is it? It's like one tick to the left. Hey, we're organized for once in our measly little lives. All right. 
Boom! Copper smelting. Accomplished. Uh, no, I was literally just playing last night, Waskly. And I also, you know, have a pretty decent memory for, like, game feel. So, yeah, I, I mean... I wouldn't swear by things, but I was pretty sure you could get on top of these in update four. And last night, I don't remember trying that, so I can't I can't say if it changed between update four and update eight. Um, but last night I was doing a lot of slide jumping and I'm pretty sure they changed jumping since update eight. I'm pretty sure I could always fire up. I think experimental might still work. I don't know. I don't know if that works or not. And test it out. But, uh, okay, can I? Yeah, you can paste settings, but do I have to, like, I can't configure it from a distance, right? No, I can. Sweet. Okay, so there's my copper ingots. And... I need more cables. Let me go make some more cables. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're gonna have all the copper stuff. I say all the copper stuff. There's literally two items that we're automating. <laughs> but it'll be nice to have it fully automated. Okay, that should be plenty. Grab the fruits of the labor over here. Now I can deconstruct this one and that one. Honestly, I'll ditch that one now too, I think. Oh, can you reserve? Can you? No, you still can't. Are you serious? That feels like such a basic feature, and I know so many people have demanded it, and you're telling me we still can't reserve slots without doing, you know, the wrong item in slots? Really? That feels like a, a miss to me. It's a feature that a lot of factory games have, and I can't see a good reason why this game doesn't have it now that it's out of early access. Um, that feels a little weird. I won't lie. It feels a bit weird. Okay, but anyway, the merger... Um... Is that too close? No, that's fine. Uh, Waskly, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, like, let's say you want... The simplest reason that I will run into probably in the next few hours even. Uh, no, there's not just niche cases, it's a very common use case, which is I'm producing something like, let's say, iron plates, and I wanna pull some of those iron plates off of the main production line for my personal use, so I wanna be able to stop by the storage container and grab, let's say, 200 iron plates, or maybe I'd let it build up to 500, or they stack to 200? Yeah, so I, I would only want like five stacks here, but not... How many is this? This is 24 stacks. I don't want it to build up 24 stacks for my personal usage because then that'll take an hour or two before that iron goes to the rest of the production line. And so um, it can solve some of it with smart splitters, but smart splitters are not available for a long time, first of all. And I don't think that even solves the whole problem even with smart splitters. It solves that particular problem. But I, I think it's such a basic feature that most automation games have, it feels uh, feels really weird that Satisfactory doesn't have it. Also, Gaming Strudel, uh, not to be rude, but like it only wastes time. Like that's literally the only resource you have as the human playing the game to spend. <laughs> so time is kind of a big deal. Uh, yeah, you could wait three hours for it to fill up, but if you're talking lower throughput items, it's uh, kind of a big deal to say, I only want one stack of this rather than four stacks of it, or 24 stacks of it. Um, 
and having to use a random item like leaves to fill up the other slots just so that only one stack will fill up in your um, in your storage container doesn't really make sense. Waskly, I'm not even talking just Factorio. Like, Dyson Sphere Program lets you do it. Um, what was that game I just played? Uh, what's it called? The one where you can, like, program you sort of stuff. Desynced. Like, most, most automation games that have containers let you do that. Yeah, of course, not every game needs to be Factorio, but if there's quality of life stuff, it does feel weird when a game doesn't have it, when other games do. That means it's an intentional decision, right? Like, I doubt it's just because it was too hard to add. It might be because I didn't get to it, and they'll add it in the future. And the other reason I bring it up is I know it's a commonly requested feature in this game. It's not like some random thing that I'm coming up with that nobody else cares about. Like, I've seen people talk about it multiple times. Like, is there any way to do this? Is there any way to do this? And then people are always answering it with like, well, really the only way to do it is put in a bunch of stacks of one leaf. And then people are like, really? That's the only way to do it? So it's a pretty commonly talked about thing with this game. And thus, why I bring it up is it feels odd that they didn't put that into 1.0. All right, constructor. I will do... Wait, why am I... No, I don't want this. I want more. Because one of them is going to be two constructors in a row. Which way am I going with these? I'm going that way, right? Yeah. So then this is copper out. I think for now, one for each is fine. Uh, we'll do wire before cable. You've been playing for two hours. <laughs> Don't worry, I took a break. Thank you for telling me. Fix it, overlords. You can totally understand that perspective, but it's like picking on stuff that's largely relevant because the game wants you to get better and better at producing. Yeah, I, I still don't know if I, I think you're ignoring a lot of a lot of times where the production could take hours and hours to fill something. Like, what if you had three different places? Because, again, you're you're narrowing it down to, like, the way that you play. You can't imagine needing that feature very much. But pe in a game, you want to make it so that regardless of how people play, it's not going to be a big problem. And what if someone wants to have three different storage containers on three different places along a very long conveyor belt where they can access that resource? I don't know why they would want to do that, but they might. And not being able to restrict it to just one stack makes that a really complicated thing to do and it feels like restricting the player from being able to do that feels worse than just letting them do it like i guess what i'm saying is it doesn't feel like a good trade-off so it, it seems like a feature that should be added to most games and it feels intentional that they did not or again maybe they just didn't get to it 1.0 is a big deal maybe that other things on the list um but given it's something people request a lot on this game and it's a feature that really doesn't have a cost to adding for the player experience. Like, you're not going to make the game worse by adding it. I don't I don't think it would. Um, like, I'm doubting they came up with really good design reasons. It's not like, oh, if we add this, it'll teach players the wrong thing. I don't really think that's the case for that sort of limit. What is going on there? Oh, I was on straight mode. Yeah, I couldn't make 90 degree angles out of that. I understand. I, 
I do think it's biased. I, I think the game is always telling you to make more production, but it literally is something that you are capable of doing already, but you have to do it jankily. So so by adding the feature, you're de-janking the game. You're not changing the, the... You can already put the wrong thing in here and do this. And this is the jankiest AF thing ever, right? So I would not say this is riveting gameplay to say I only want one stack of this to build up. And then that, con that concrete can go somewhere else, right? So I do think it's very much a janky feature right now that could be turned into a proper feature. And I think they probably will. I'm going to guess it will happen. They just didn't get to it. And I'm disappointed they didn't get to it because it's a feature I would like to have. All right. Anyway. We are finished. Sweet. Okay, so one more line of these and I can put storage containers in the front. And copper production lines are now a go. I guess I didn't need to build these out. Like that. go. Yay! Alright. So that does it. As far as rates, um, this is going to use 15 ingots, and this is going to do another 15. That only makes half the wire I need. Wait, I didn't hook that up? I built... Wait. Oh, oh, I didn't hook up the thing. Uh, you need to be hooked up to that. There we go. Yeah, and the dimensional depot obviously helps helps with some of those similar things. Um, again, I don't think as a dev you should you should be focusing on like well. I don't feel like it's something I really want to do or some players want. It's like, well, if a lot of players would like that feature, I, I don't think telling people how to play the game is that useful. I think it's like, OK, well, why don't we add that feature then? Like more flexibility is a good thing. And I don't again, I don't really think there's a big argument to be made for like it's teaching players the wrong thing or it's causing players to play in a way that's against a helpful way like I don't think it does any of that and it's a very minor feature that's not gonna get in anybody's way if it exists you know if there was a little X here that you click and can drag like there is in Factorio that's not gonna ruin anybody's gameplay it only adds to experience for people who do want to do that um, so again I think it's one of those harmless features that they probably just didn't get to Because there are use cases for it. They might not be ones that, like, optimal factory players run into very often. But again, that's like getting into the, you're telling other people how to play. Like, well, you shouldn't need that feature because the way you're supposed to play is blank. And it's like, well, I mean, yes and no. Like, obviously, automating and making more is a good goal. But if someone wants to be able to control their production with a little bit more granularity, shouldn't we let them do that if we can? And I think as a dev, your goal is to be saying yes more often than no, if you can. Assuming it doesn't go directly against, you know, the things that you're having players do. Uh, Waskly, I think it would be pretty clear what it does. And I don't think people are just going to accidentally block off their whole thing and then be like, oh, I blocked off the whole thing. But again, like maybe a couple players would do that. I don't know. I, th I think that's a pretty far fetched thing and you could hide the feature a little bit better right if you're like we, it's more for our power players heck you could even make it an option in the game settings that's off by default uh if you really if you really think it could be a little harmful i just know there's enough people that want the feature that it feels weird that it's not in there given it's an established feature in other automation games too it's not like oh this is a feature that's not standard in this case in this case, it is a standard feature that most games have, 
you can already do it with jank. Those two things together mean it's usually a feature that, that can be added. <laughs> I really don't think it would harm more people than it helps Waskily. I just, I, I hard disagree with that. I think it might harm two people who somehow block off their entire storage without even when the squares are turning red with X's. I, I think pretty much everybody's going to understand what that does. Um, yeah, you're right. It's possible that someone doesn't. But that's true of every feature in the game. Um, you know, like you could argue uh, you could argue the same thing for the new build mode with belts. Like, oh, OK, someone's building a belt and they're building it from here to here and they accidentally turned on straight mode and they don't know that they hit the R key. So now they can't figure out why are my belts building with right angles? Why, like, why is it not curving like it normally does? Ah, what do I do? Okay, that's gonna harm some people by your same definition, but it's like, oh, well, no, they have to hit the R key. Like, there's some amount of learning that you have to assume your players can do. And I think learning that a giant red box on your storage is gonna mean that things don't get stored there, I, I don't think that's too much to expect from a player. Um, because they've added tons of quality of life features that could get in somebody's way already. I don't I don't think this is like out of line with those other changes. Um Because yeah, every feature could theoretically be a negative somehow if you really want to spin it that way. But I don't think this one's one where you're going to easily run into people who are like not understanding what that does. It, it's a very simple idea, so I think most people would get it immediately. And again, most people, a lot of people would get it because they've already used that feature in other games, which is the thing I keep coming back to, of like, you know, it's a pretty standard feature in automation games to have that ability. So I'm going to grab this sulfur. And for those of you on YouTube who are new to me, this is the kind of stuff I love to talk about. So uh, if you don't like talking game design stuff, then I might not be the right channel for you. I get on lots of tangents talking about stuff like this, and I find it really interesting. And um, I think that like, the, the ideas behind how we design games is just a really cool concept. And I also have a podcast where we talk about some of this stuff called The Factory Must Grow, because uh, I just love I love talking about this kind of stuff. So, just know that this is normal for me, getting on soapboxes about things like this. Now, I've gotten a little distracted, but we worked on our copper stuff, and now I need to work on the iron stuff. So, the problem is I haven't decided yet whether we want to do a big factory for iron stuff or whether I kind of just want to do stuff on the ground like I did for copper just for now. What do I do? I have the ma'am yet or do I need it? No, I need to unlock it. So what I want to do then is unlock the ma'am here. And we need 300 screws. So maybe I will just for now. Remove that. Oh, I have no wire. Okay. Well, let me get some of that, because I just gave it away at all. Yeah, Gaming Strudel, uh, the people who in Stardew Valley throw their stuff away to sell it thinking it's a storage crate. Yeah, I mean, that happens. There's, there's always going to be mistakes like that, but once it happens once, it's over forever. And I think... I think it's pretty... I don't know. I think you can only assume your players are so dumb. If you assume your players are too dumb, then you end up not adding a lot of really helpful features that, like, the majority of your uh, committed players want to use. And it's like, are we marketing towards the average idiot iPhone person that... We're not, not saying idiots use iPhones. What I'm saying is, like, iPhone builds their apps for like the dumbest possible person so that things just work but i don't think video games always do that i think sometimes video games are like no this feature is for like 90 percent of our players and the bottom 10 percent might not care about it but most people are going to get something out of it um 
you know, I think games like this are more in that direction. Like, look at look at the bottom of the screen right now. Build, rotate hologram, snap mode, lock hologram, sample building, quick switch, build menu, cl like a basic person who doesn't know much about gaming is going to be so overwhelmed by this game, right? And so having like having the ability to block slots is not in any way an advanced feature that's going to harm like so many of the features in this game are going to harm a player that's not going to understand what locking slots would do. So I actually think, Waskly, you're making the argument backwards against yourself there. You're saying just because I play the game a certain way doesn't make me blind to the game being made for a lot of people not like me. That's exactly why the feature should be in the game, is what I'm arguing. <laughs> like, I feel like you're making my point for me. Like, that, that means the feature should be in, because there are a lot of people who want that feature, and it's not really going to harm anyone that doesn't want it, because it's not going to get in the way. Again, yeah, there's that one random person that might not understand what it does, but that's true of every quality of life feature. I don't think that's a compelling reason to not add a quality of life feature, unless it really does change how something works. But I would argue the build modes, accidentally hitting the H key and locking your hologram in the wrong place and not understanding how you did that, that's way more potentially harmful than the idea we're talking about here. So. All that to say, I need a lot more screws. Screws are the thing in the game that <laughs> everybody jokes about you needing millions of and that you need so many of them, the belts aren't fast enough to move screws around. So we're gonna have a lot of conversations about screws in this game. We are gonna have a lot of conversations about screws and we'll go do hard drive hunting to find hard drives for alternate recipes and I'm hopeful that we can get the ones that mean we don't need screws. If you get the right combinations of recipes, you can just avoid screws entirely, which is pretty nice. Um, I also didn't put my leaves in wood. I went collecting for stuff and didn't put that in there. So we need to do that. Leaves. Wood. Okay. Because, yeah, I, I don't know how much power do we actually have going on here. 185. So those are almost full. These are not full. Okay. We are going to need some more. Pretty soon here. And then this is going to be... Screws. Oh, shoot. No, that needs to be rods. Right. I forgot that last night, too. Screws are a three-step process, not two. Power pole. There we go. So 15 to 15, and that's 10 to 40. So we have a few more rods than we need. Now, this is something I notice a lot of early game players are worried about is like, oh, I'm not using all my rods. I need two screw makers. And it's like, no, you don't like you don't need perfect ratios early game. Early game, I think just getting things running is far more important than than having your ratios perfect. Now, if you like to play perfect ratios, that's fine. You know, play the way you want to play, but you certainly don't need perfect ratios to have things working the way you want. Okay, so now we just need a crap ton of screws. Hmm. I'm gonna trash those random three ingots. Speaking of harmful quality of life features, the trash can is certainly more harmful than the ability to block slots in a storage container. <laughs> you know, like, again, like, I understand your point, but there are way more features in this game that are way more potentially harmful to a player that doesn't know what they're doing. So I just... I don't think for this game that that argument really holds. I do think it's a, a, a reasonable question to ask yourself when you're developing stuff is could this harm players and how does that line up with the other decisions we've made. In this case, I think there are far more potentially harmful things than satisfactory to, to a noob that doesn't know what the buttons do. All right. Um...
What? What do I want to do next? Kind of just waiting around for these screws, I guess. We'll just handcraft the rest. Because it's not very fast. Yes, Vatamouse. I do love the underclocking. It's super nice. You can save so much power if you just underclock everything that isn't needing to run at full speed. It's a lot of manual tinkering, which sometimes I don't want to do, but you can end up saving quite a bit of power. Oh, you started in the forest, Strudel. The nodes are nice, but not very fun to build in the early game. Is that because you don't have the chainsaw yet and the trees are in the way? Or I don't remember exactly what that what the uh, forest looks like. All right, here we go. Launch the pod. Milestone reached. Supply the molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory buildings. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars. Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. Construct, automate, to advance Fixit's mission, exploit. all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer <laughs> contract. Regardless of any perceived danger. So you want me to put myself in harm's way, all in the sake of science. I understand. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is definitely updated since the last time I played. So yeah, we can research alien megafauna. And there's hatchers, stingers, spitters, and hogs. Hogs are the only ones we've seen so far. But I can take that carapace that we grabbed and pop it in there and hit start research. And that one's only a three second research. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy-tailed hog. Fluffy it has many hog. characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidae family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, Ooh. and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Okay. Then we can also research our little pale berries. This fruit, dubbed the paleberry due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. I can eat it Further now. Further research is available. Oh yeah, this is not the object scanner. So you can make an object scanner in here if you're looking for certain things, and it'll like beep when you're close to it and whatnot, um, which can be really handy when you're looking for certain types of thing. All right, we'll research the nut. Barrel nut. This fruit, dubbed the barrel nut after its distinctive color, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. <laughs> Further Salsa. research is available. Yes. We do what we must because we can. So it seems like I need five of the alien proteins, so we need to do some more hunting to get to the alien DNA capsule unlock, but we can also do sulfur. Because I found a sulfur rock. This unknown chemical element was in reality an unusual mixture of solid sulfide and sulfate materials from which sulfur can be extracted. Sulfur's primary use lies in fertilizers, which we have no use for. Instead, this element enables access to more volatile mm -hmm, obstacle mm -hmm. clearing and pioneer defending tools. Explosives! Yeah, but we need coal and sulfur for that. So, sulfur is pretty useless until you have coal. So I don't need to worry about that now. Really. Let me put away the rest of it. And... Let's see... 
Now what? Well, we're done with tier one already. We could do jump pads. I don't need jump pads yet. There might, once we get our factorying going a little bit better, we might. But uh, it would be nice to have reinforced plates automated. I might do the resource sink though. Um, so we can get a little bit more of the, whatchamacallits, the aesthetics going, and then we'll work towards Mark II belts and the space elevator. But for now, just grab all that stuff. Alien tacos, ooh. Now I want tacos. Okay, I think I finally have enough cable for a minute. Um, how much wire do we have, though? Not enough. I need 500. Okay, well, why don't we then get more concrete going? I'm going to need a crap ton of concrete. Um, what am I doing? Production. I need a miner. I just want to make sure I have everything before I run over there. Ah! Constructor... Okay, yeah, I need another rip. Make a couple of these. It will be nice to have those automated. I'll go with 15. And then we'll scan for... Oh, where is the nearest sulfur, by the way? I'm curious. Mmm, not close. One kilometer, exactly. That was weird. It was literally a 1,000 meters on the dot. Um, okay. So there's some out there, but not very close. Where is the next nearest limestone? One right back here. We'll get that. And then I gotta get this rock off the top. My little trusty chisel. check the node. It is also an impure node, so that means slow AF. Um, instructor. Right? I, do, I don't have any other use for limestone for a while, I think. So I, I think it's fine for now to, to do it this way. Um, I just don't think there's a big reason to Bring limestone all the way to the base when I can just do this. Uh, per game performance? I haven't noticed any differences, really. It's... my performance is fine. I've had a couple hitches, but, like, I'm also streaming... I'm multi-streaming and recording with OBS, so... OBS is taking a lot of my graphics card right now. So we'll see, uh, how the game performs as we go further in. Also, Waskily, yeah. I... I know they added more sulfur. I think it, it'll be interesting to see uh, what resources people use um, the new converting for now that we can convert one resource to another. And I think I don't want to run all the way over there. So we're going we're gonna to bring this back. At least two over here. Be right here. Hmm. I don't 
think I think I'll do a vertical conveyor for hotkey hockey number four there. We'll see if I stick with that or not. But for now I think that's good. Yeah, Waskly, you're right about that. I think it kind of has to be equally rare resources, so like iron, copper, limestone, I think can all be interchanged. Uh, and maybe one more. They showed, they actually showed the, the, what they are on one screen, so if someone went and looked at that more carefully, then we could know. Um, but yeah, like, obviously you can't get uranium from iron. I think you have to convert your way up to more rare things. Okay, so how much copper am I actually getting? I didn't check what node this was. I think this is a normal node, right? So we're getting 60 a minute? Let me double check. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I need to take screenshots for YouTube thumbnails. Yeah, this is a normal node. Okay. So then... Let's do... So I set up twice as many smelters as I needed. Perfect. So when we get to Mark II Miners, we'll be ready to go. And these are each 15 a minute. So I could have four constructors. Let's just do one more for now. Just making a little more wire. I do like how we can build power poles a bit more, like, encroaching than we used to be able to do. I think that is very handy. Alright, that's gonna make wire as well, and then... Hmm. Let's see if we can make this look clean. Aesthetics challenge number one. A clean looking... Merging with this one. Is it possible? Okay, I swear I... Oh, what did I do? That's not where I wanted to build that. That was... I thought I was snapped onto the end of this belt when I was building that. That's what I intended to build just now. Um. Hmm. Doesn't like. Uh, doesn't like that at all, huh? Well, I was worried about this, but we're going to go with the easy solution. And the spaghetti begins. No, Strudel, I'm fighting it. Look, look, I'm fighting it. I'm actually fighting it properly. You're fighting spaghetti properly by rebuilding it so that the things are actually in the right order. Again. And then I don't have to spaghetti. Ta da! Okay, so now we'll get 60 wire a minute instead of just the 30. Cable will stay the same. And if I want more cable, I need one more making wire. Which, if I'm going to use a full belt, I might as well do right now. Um, let's finish that, and then I guess that would be a good place to call it an episode, maybe. I feel 
like these look different. I think they changed the models. I don't know what exactly it is. I, I don't know if it's just that it's been so long since I've seen them, but they look really good. The splitters and the mergers. Um, now this one, it might not let me do. Let's find out. Oh, it does? Heck yeah. See that? It's a little, it's a little tight, but to me that still feels okay. Cause you know, it's like in real life, you know the processes are meant to go together. And so it, I don't know. It feels like the, the merger is built into, built into them. That doesn't feel too crazy to me. All right, so two wire makers, support one cable maker. Beautiful. Beautiful. No spaghetti. No spaghetti yet. A little bit of panini, maybe. All right, sweet. Well, for those of you on YouTube, I think we will call it an episode here. For everybody on Twitch and live, stick around. We're going to keep streaming all day. Day one is a big day for satisfactory release, so we'll stream as long as we can. But yeah, for those of you on YouTube, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about Ye Old Satisfactory, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.